Great. Can we do a little ECW word association? I throw out some guys. You could say one word. You could say five minutes, whatever you want. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Jerry Lynn. Oh, so amazing. So amazing. Just he, he built confidence in me. I was so scared to wrestle him. And he's like, no, this, is, this isn't that hard. You stand here and you stand there. I'll do the rest. And when it comes time for you to do stuff, I'll stand here and you stand. And I'm, he's like, it's working together. I'm like, oh my God, you're Jerry Lynn. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy Dreamer. Ah, oh, Dreamer was great. Dreamer yeah, was a guy that you Dreamer. could argue with and um, be mad at and like argue your point. But at the end of the day, like, you know, you knew his, his point and his stuff was, uh, always from a good place. And, you know, sometimes it took me, you know, we, when we're older, we really think of like stuff that doesn't bother us that we shouldn't have worried about 25 years ago and stuff like that. Dreamer was like, and I think he's only two or three years older than me. Uh, he was that guy that like, didn't let stuff bother him 25 years ago, as, uh, you know, as, as opposed to like, we learn it early, later in life. And uh, so he, yeah, he was good. He was good to me. RVD? RVD, I didn't have a lot of um, interaction with. You know, he, I, I wrestled him twice, uh, only twice in, in ECW, once in Peoria. Uh, I, was, I was over in Peoria after Limp Bizkit, And I made the mistake of saying, hey, man, make a little comeback. And he punched me dead in the stomach and dropped me. Oh. And he goes like this. He goes, good enough? I go, yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then the, the next time I wrestled him, um, he did like that jumping kick off the top rope. It caught me right under the chin, right? Knocked me out. Like uh, I had to watch it on a video later to like, wow. and like I hear Fonzie in the video, you hear Fonzie like, cover him, cover him. And he goes, no, I think I knocked him out, right? And he like gave me some time <laughs> to get up. And yeah, but yeah, Rob was cool. Like he was just, he's Rob. He's just so laid back and, you know, he's just cool. I've never worked Rob. I heard he's very, very heavy. Like he's heavy. exceptionally heavy when he lands on <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> you get up a refrigerator. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Sam would do things where you know he, he would come up with these scenarios and they some of them didn't make sense. Or, you know, he was so smart, but like he was so dumb at times too. And you'd be like, even Raven would have these conversations of like whose IQ is higher. And I'm thinking, well, I don't even want to hang out with either one of you. But, um, but Sandman was, he was fun. He would like, he would have these conversations on the road with you that like, he'd ask you, like, I, you, I remember when we met, I worked in a dairy. I, I worked for a while at dairies while I was still, you know, trying to break into independent wrestling. And he'd be like, yo, how do you pasteurize milk? Right? And he would be like is so into how to pasteurize milk and I would go over the process and it'd be like three months down the line, like somebody would have milk, right? He'd be like, huh, yo, let me tell you the pasteurization system of this milk here. And this, and like, he, he was one of those guys that like loved knowledge. He, he played chess in, in the locker room and, uh, you know, by beer 36, like, you know, he was still playing and, uh, but he, he was a lot of fun. He was just, a, you know, he just loved to be out there and entertain people. That's all he cared about was just make sure the people went home happy. New Jack. New Jack was good to me, man. I, I, I tell people, I feel like New Jack was good to me on the basis of he had so much respect for Jack victory that like, I got over with him by default. And I also knew that like, if we're doing New Jack's match, it's you're doing New Jack's match. You know, right. go where he says to go. Like let him lead. And I, I never, he, and I bet you it was the third or fourth I, time I wrestled him that like he asked me for an idea. What do you want to do here? Okay, here. How's this sound? Great. But it, like I had to build that trust in him. And um, uh, the only time he ever hurt me was we were at a show, and this is a wild story. Um, <laughs> we were at a show in Minneapolis, I think it was, and we're doing like this eight man brawl and there's blood and everything. And he has this shovel that I feel like a fan brought or it was out, you know, and he sees me and I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm taking the shovel. Right. 
But to me, it looks like a plastic shovel. And, you know, back in those days, we were so dumb. We didn't put our hands up or anything like that. But I think the way he did this was he was trying to tell me like, hey, dummy, this is a real shovel. Like, protect yourself. Bonk. Oh, and it hit me. And you know, like how when you get really cut, like it feels warm and everything. And I hit the mat and I could just feel like the blood going on my hands. And I'm like, and I knew I was wrecked. And I was like, oh, so like, I just wanted to roll out of the ring, but there's eight people. So like, I'm thinking, let me just go under the ring for a second and like catch my bearings, see how bad this cut is and I'll go. And I remember rolling under the ring and I'm just trying to catch my thing. And I look over and there's Sandman. And like, I can't get any words out of my mouth. And I hear, yeah, what are you doing here? And I go, you just hit me with a shovel. He's like, ah, oh, you want to roll out the other side? I go, yeah. So we like roll out the other side and we just start wrestling. And it took me years to go like, the hell was he doing under the ring? Like he wasn't in the match. He was in the match. But like, okay. <laughs> where did he like, you know, where did he just decide like how long has he been under there? Like, I don't know. I'm paired off with him at the time. And I get back and like I'm trying not to sell because like, yeah, New Jack's a tough guy. And I didn't want him to think like I was blaming him. And he comes back and he's like, stand up. And I'm like, oh, here we go. And uh he takes my head and he looks at it, he's like, oh, why didn't you put your hands up? I go, my fault. I thought it was like plastic and right. And he's like, oh man, he's like, and he gives me a hug. And he's like, I it's like, dude, I didn't try to hurt you. And I'm like, no, no, I know you didn't. He's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking, this is awesome. You know, like, this is like an apology. I'm like, yeah, do I give him a bigger hug? Or like, I, I'm like, I don't want to make this awkward. And yeah, he was just, he was cool to me. He was just always cool to me. Anybody in ECW you didn't like working with? Um, No, no, I, I there was, you know, they had so many... So much talent. Um, you know, a guy I wish I would have worked with more, especially when I was coming up, um, when I was starting to get the push, I really wish um, uh, I, I would have worked with Chris Chetty more. Like, I loved working with Chetty. And he was a guy that, like, when I first started in ECW, um, you know, I'm wrestling Nova a lot, but I know Nova. And um, I don't know Chetty. Like, I've, I've watched him, and I know he's has his cousin. And he's got a rep for you know, being a legit tough guy. So, you know, the first few times I was like, man, I wonder if this guy's going to put it on me. I'm the new guy. Uh, and he was just cool and had fun. And like, he just wanted to put on good matches. And uh, like, I really, really enjoyed like working with him. And then I always wish that like, man, I wish we could have these matches higher up on the card, you know, when we're both established. And um, yeah, it just never came like, but he was, I, I feel like he was very underrated. Um, but yeah, then I got, I got chances to work with the Jerry's and the Justin's and the Candido's and, uh, you know, they, they put Tajiri and Rhino with me. So like, um, you know, I, we, we would get to work with super crazy and, and, uh, all these, all these different styles and it's getting dark here. So I'm going to turn on the light. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm still learning. I don't know. I find these lights at five below and, you know, I think I'm going to become a podcaster and now it looks like foggy in my house wait am i on mute no nope, you're good okay there we go yeah so yeah I, I just got so lucky i don't know if you remember this <laughs> are oh, you getting questioned the lights above you yeah. you know like you're, like you're in interrogation true. yeah <laughs> i don't know if you remember this but it was your son's i don't know second maybe third birthday you had an outdoor pool party for him it was in the summer it was Nine, it was 2000. 2000. Yeah. 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 Sure. yeah. An outdoor pool party. I was there and you pulled me aside and you said, they're going to put the ECW title on me. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that, you told me that though. Yeah. What did, uh, wh who told you that? Like, what was that moment like when you found that out? So, um, Heyman had originally told me, he's like, we're going to turn your baby face and we're going to put the title on you. And I said, really? Like, I feel like I'd be a better TV champion. And he's, and he's like, no, no. He's like, um, we're not going to do it in New York. And I'm like, oh, it's coming up. And that's when we had that conversation. He goes, but we're going to do it. I, 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 we're going to do it. And then it wasn't happening. And then there was the, um, the idea that as a baby face, 
it was going to be almost parallel with Raven and Dreamer. Whereas like Dreamer was a baby face, but he couldn't beat Raven. I was going to be a baby face that couldn't beat Justin. And uh, then I'm like, oh, so I, I guess I'm not getting the title. And it just goes away for a, like, I just think it's like, okay, it's just wrestling things, plans change. I don't think about it again. And um, Justin loses the title to Jerry Lynn in October. I'm like, oh, cool. Like, you know, um, I'm a baby face. I'm kind of liking being a baby face. So I'm not even thinking about the title. I, I'm like kind of enjoying myself. And uh, knowing that the idea is eventually to go back to heel where um, Paul wanted to do almost the... Uh, do you remember the Ole Anderson, Dusty Rhodes angle of 80 where, of um, where uh, for a year, Ole pretends to be a baby face just for that moment to get o Dusty's trust to get him in the cage against the assassins. Yep. So that was Paul's idea was baby face are the, the baby faces would be like, ah, let's give Carino a chance. And um, it ends up where like, I get dreamers trust to do a cage match. And then I turn against him and then we're off to the races. So it went from, Hey, we'd like to put the title on you to man. You're going to be Ole Anderson. And I'm like, hell yeah. I just got to wrestle dusty Rhodes, And now me and dreamer are going to be Ole and dusty. This is right up my alley. Right. I'm like, uh, I didn't care about the title. And um, yeah, it comes to the November pay-per-view and uh, like a week or two before Paul says, hey, look, this is what I'm doing. Um, we're going to put the title back on Justin. I said, okay, cool. And he goes, uh, so you and Justin are going to go back for a little bit, and then we'll get to the dreamer stuff. I'm like, cool. And he's like, but, like, just remember, you're never going to beat Justin. So, like, you know, you're, you think about things that, like, get you so close but keep you sympathy to when you turn heel against dreamer. I hate you even more. Love it. And then that day at, like, 3.30, uh, Jerry Lynn's like, Hey man, or first it's Sam, man. He goes, yeah, congratulations. I said, what? He goes, uh, they're putting the title on you tonight. I'm like, oh yeah, right. And then here comes Jerry and Jerry's like, hey, I just, you know, let's make this the best match possible for you. And I'm like, wait, what? And then here comes Justin. Justin's like, man, like, uh, I have an idea. Can we do this into, and I'm like, am I winning? They're like, yeah. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, so um, it ended up coming full circle. And I think it was like, there was um, there was talk that Justin, Jerry, and Sandman had like breach of contract claims in, you know, because things were were not great financially. So, and I didn't, and I thought, oh man, I wonder if this is a put it on him because it's safe, you know, uh, and you know we'll we'll go from there. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it was it was it was cool. It was it was really cool. I never got to do the dreamer uh, in the cage thing though. Yeah, you never got to be Ole Anderson. Never got to be Ole. Now I just, <laughs> I'm just grumpy like Ole. <laughs> Talk to me about the end of ECW. Um, it was sad. You, you like, it's one of those things like, you know, I always say it's like a relationship. Like, you know, it's coming to an end, but like, you don't want it to be an end. You're thinking like, nope, something will come through. But like, you know it in your heart that it's over. And you, you, it's just, the day you accept it, the day you can move on and stuff. So, um, yeah, there came a time where I, I just was like, Ooh, I think this is the end. And like, I just like mentally prepared myself of what's next. And, um, I didn't want to dwell. I just wanted to be like, okay, if this is over, then it's time to move on. And like, what's my next adventure? Um, you know, because I, I'm already, you know, uh, what am I, eight years, no, seven years in, and I've done so much that I never thought I was going to do because my, my only goal was to have one match, you know, so like, yeah, you know, I am just, it's all gravy right now, so uh, it, it was sad because you didn't want it to end, but like, it was okay because um, you, you knew there was going to be tomorrow, the sun was going to shine. Oh, that's awesome. No, you were the champion going into the last show, the last no, pay-per-view? Uh we yes, yeah, yeah. And yes. you lost it to I lost it in a ladder match to Sandman, who immediately lost it to Rhino. Okay. Yeah. So I was third to last champion of that first era. So Rhino was on top when the place went out of business, not Boom. you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Notice how I like say like I third the last like, yeah. like why don't it beat me? Beat Sandman who beat me? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was it all happened night, in but... the same forty five minutes, but, but... yes, yes, yeah. <laughs>